everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i have something very very exciting not polished did send over this huge pr package of their brand new products including their press x and I am very, very excited to try out this system. So they did send over their Not Polish Flash Pro Press It Cure Light. And then there's also some of their liquids in here, like the prepping liquids and then the glue gel. And then we also do have their Press X Soft Gel Extensions. And as you guys know, I love gel extensions. I'm super excited to try this specifically, this flash cure lamp here. Like this flash cure lamp looks pretty awesome. So I am very excited to unbox everything and just go over a quick look at everything. I do have a discount code with not polish. I will go ahead and pop that up on screen. And then I will also add that down below in the description box, along with all of these products that I am showing in today's video. So my game plan for today's video is just to quickly show everything that they did send over to me. I also quickly want to give a big thank you to not polish. It is very exciting when I get PR packages from them and get to try their new launches. So I am very excited for that and then of course after I show everything I'll also be using these products and applying the nail tips and then I will be also doing a quick nail design. So let's jump right in. I am going to start with the basic items so I will start by showing everything that's included in this box here and then the final item is I will show the Flash Pro Press It Cure Light. So included in the box, we do have the Press It Press Gel, and this is a builder gel or a glue gel. Oh my goodness, that is a very thick consistency. I'm really liking that. Oh yes, that is definitely a thick gel that is going to be very nice to work with. And this is also a 15 ml bottle, and over here it does say Advanced Formula. The next item that we have is the pH Bond Dehydrator, again, in a 15 ml bottle. I'm really liking the matte bottles. I think that's really nice. The packaging is definitely top tier. The next item we have is Prime Time, which is the acid-free primer. Oh my goodness, I can't get over the packaging. The packaging is just so cute. Like this ombre, that's adorable. And then it being matte, I love that. The next item, we have the stain resistant top coat. And this, I'm pretty sure, yes, it is a glossy top coat. I've heard a lot of good things about the not polished top coat. And I actually do really love the not polished top coat. I have used it before. And finally, the last thing in this box that they sent over to me is a 15 ml gel polish. And this color is Pleasure. And it looks to be like a light pink. Oh, yes, that is very pretty. It is a very beautiful light pink gel polish. I may end up using this in today's nail set. I haven't really decided what nail look I want to create yet. But this is a very beautiful pink color. Now for the nail tips, they did send over two boxes of nail tips. So we have the natural square long, and then we also have the natural almond short. So I first do wanna take a look at the long square, and then I'll go over to the almond short. So the packaging is really nice. They are in a red box, and then we have just the little sticker here. It does show that there are 14 sizes, 300, or 630 pieces. And then we also see that it has an extra thin cuticle edge. And then over here, it's just embossed and it says not polish. So let's open these up and take a look. Oh my goodness, this is a really nice box. So I'm going to start with the largest size here, which I assume would be a size zero. Oh no, this is actually a size one. So their largest size does start off with a size one. So what's their smallest size then? So their smallest size is a size 10. So that must mean there's half sizes. Oh my goodness, there is. So this is a six and a half. 
So I did go ahead and pull out all of the half sizes. For the half sizes, we have three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and six and a half. And then again, there are a total of 14 sizes. So the largest size is a size one and the smallest size is a size 10. Here is just a side-by-side -side comparison. I know this doesn't really do any justice for the actual sizing of these nail tips because like you can't really tell through the screen if they're going to fit you or not. But I do really appreciate the different sizes, especially with the half sizes. That's really nice that there are a total of 14 sizes. Generally, you only get about like 10 sizes, but with 14, that's a really good amount and these probably will fit a lot of different people whether or not you have smaller nail beds or if you have larger nail beds. I also don't know for sure, but if they do have the measurements available on their website, that would also be very useful. That way you can measure your natural nails to be sure that they are going to fit you before you actually make a purchase. But now I do want to take a look at these nail tips. So down here at the cuticle area, I hope that's picking up on a camera, but it does have the little not polish like NP, their logo. And then you'll also find the size down here at the cuticle area. Overall, taking a look at this nail tip, it is very nice. It even has a little bit of like an apex or like a structure on it, which is very nice. The free edge of these nails is also relatively thick and very strong like this is definitely a really good material it is a little bendable but it isn't like bendable where it's like breakable it's more just like flexible I want to say the cuticle of this nail tip is definitely very thin just like the packaging showed extra thin cuticle edge and that is 100% when you go in and actually apply that nail tip you are going to get a very beautiful and seamless transition and overall these nail tips are just so beautiful I love the shape I love the length the quality is also really nice and then of course we also do have these half sizes as well which is really nice so those were the long square now I want to take a look at the almond short again we have the extra thin cuticle edge 14 sizes and 630 pieces so these ones here I am not actually able to wear the short almond just because I do have relatively longer nail beds. Even if I were to like clip my natural nail length down, my nail beds are just a little bit too long for like a shorter almond just because the way an almond works is that you have the nail tip but then it starts to curve in on the sides. And for my longer nail beds, these just don't work for me because my nail, like my natural nail will be hanging out a little bit on the edge but these are still really nice now I'm not a hundred percent sure all of the different shapes and lengths that not polish will be launching but with these um shorter almond nail tips I'm sure you guys already know this especially if you do already have longer nail beds to begin with but these I could still use I can use them for like the overlay method where I would just apply them further up versus like back near the cuticle and then go in with gel so I definitely could still use these that would also be a great video idea in case you guys have some shorter almond nail tips or nail tips that don't really fit you properly so let me know down down below in the comment section if you would like to see that video because I can definitely do that it is I think like consider the gel overlay method but you still can use a full cover nail tip to do that so these are the same just a different shape we have all of the half sizes the largest size being zero the smallest being 10 they are also a really nice shape I like the almond shape but again I sadly can't actually just use these as a full cover nail tip just because my natural nails will hang off on the sides a little bit but the quality is still really good we have that thicker free edge and then the cuticle is also thinner which will give us a very seamless and flawless transition so with that being said in today's video I will of course be using the long square nail tips just because these ones will fit me properly but again if you want to see the video where I apply the almond short nail tips but actually go in with a builder gel and do a gel overlay let me know and I will 
will do that video. Now for the thing that I am most excited for, which is the Flash Pro Press It Cure Lamp. I am very excited to unbox this and take a look at it. So on the back here, I just wanted to show like some of the features and specifications. So you can see that it can become a handheld or it can also go on the little base here where you don't have to hold it. So it is rechargeable. 360 degree freedom up to 10 hour working time and then the usb cable is also included down here it is adjustable we have a touch sensor for easy operation magnetic base design for handheld use and then cordless and rechargeable for mobile use so like i was saying you can have it be like a handheld one or it is magnetic so it can stick to the base which is really nice for the specifications, it is 9 watts power, Type-C USB cable for charging, built-in battery, and then we also do have one piece 365 plus 405 Nm high power LED, and then there are preset curing timers for 30 and 60 seconds. So let's open this up and actually take a look at it. This is the ivory color, and it actually does match my not polished nail drill and like larger nail lamp. So in the box, we do have the warranty card, and then we also do have, I'm pretty sure this is probably just the instruction manual. Yep, it shows the charging directions and just showing everything that is included in the box here. So I did remove everything out of the box. And first thing that I noticed, this is heavy duty. Like this is not cheaply made whatsoever. And if you do end up purchasing this, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Like this is not cheap at all. Like this is a nice heavy base. You can bend this like all the way back and it is not going to tip over whatsoever. This base is strong, it is heavy duty, and I'm already loving this so, so much. Um, definitely gonna be one of my favorite flash cure lamps. But we do have the base, so here is what the base looks like. It just has the NP, and then, like I was saying, this is a nice, strong, heavy duty piece. We also have like almost like this little gooseneck where you can adjust this in different ways depending on how you want to have it, if you wanna have it closer or if you wanna have it higher up on the nail. And then this little piece here, it does have a little magnet, which I will come to that in a second, where then this will be able to stick to that just like that, which is super nice. So I do wanna now take a look at the actual like curing lamp. So here is the actual device and this is very nice as well. Like this is nicely made. We do have the Flash Pro Press It Cure and then the Not Polish and then the NP logo. And here we have the button for the curing timer. So like I was saying, on the back of the box, we did have the preset curing times. So I'm pretty sure you do just press it. Let me actually just take a look at the instructions real quick and then I will come back. So I did briefly take a look at the instructions here. And for a short press, if you press the button once, the light will automatically go on to the default timer of 60 seconds. If you press it again, then you can go to the 30 second timer. And then you are able to touch the cap of the nail lamp here because this is actually the like flash like touch sensor. So you can kind of just like guide over it or you can even just tap it. So this is extremely nice. And then also to turn it off, you will just long, do a long press and then it will turn the device off. For here, this is where you will charge it. And like I said, the USB type C cable is included. So you will just plug that in. And then there is a little light here. The light, the red indicator light will turn on during charging and then it will turn green when the battery is fully charged. When the battery is very low, the light will turn red and then after, and then it will turn off the lamp after the last five minutes. So this is really nice. Oh my goodness. I'm super excited for this. I really love how you can use it as like a handheld. Like, so if you're like flash carrying something and you want to like hold it in your hand 
or of course you can stick it to this base here and to do that there is just a little piece here that will stick right into there and then there you go you have it right on your base this is kind of hard for me to show on the camera but there are a lot of different possibilities with the ways that you can bend this you can have it more like higher up or you can of course also lower it and honestly I think my favorite feature is the fact that it's kind of like a two-in-one where you can hold it in your hand or you can stick it on this base and then also the fact that it's a touch sensor like that is amazing because when you're working with it you can turn it on but then you can like tap it before you go underneath of it and then you can tap it when you're done instead of like needing to constantly press the button which is really nice and I'm super excited to actually use this I know this is going to make applying um, full cover nail tips using gel super easy and then you also have the option to be able to take it off if you're like adding on any charms or rhinestones you can do a flash cure or of course you can also still just keep it on the base here so I'm loving these products I do want to give another big thank you to not polish for sending the, over these brand new items for me to try out I definitely recommend them especially this flash cure lamp you will not regret your purchase and I'm pretty sure that they do also make it in their chrome red color because it does have it here on the little instruction manual but I'm pretty sure they sent me the ivory just because in the past they have sent me their ivory nail drill and nail lamp. So this will then just match with my collection. But if you do have the chrome red, I'm pretty sure they also do make the chrome red. And then also I would recommend checking out the other nail tips that they do offer. I'm sure they have more lengths and styles available instead of just the um, short almond and the long square. But I'm super excited to actually jump in and try these products. So I am just going to get Get right in with it and we're going to start on the nail set. So for today's video I'm not actually going to be going in and doing any prepping using the prepping steps that is included like in the press x system but I will be doing a separate video where I actually go fully in depth showing step by step and using the prepping steps. But for today, I did just apply a peel off base coat because I did unbox everything and I know the video is gonna get a little bit longer. And if I go in with prepping in this video, then the video length would just be a little bit longer than I want it to be. So for today, I just applied my peel off base coat, but in a separate video, I will be just using this entire system and again, going step by step and using the prepping steps. But I'm now going to go in and size out my nail tips. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I am going to be using the long square and I am just going to go in and size these out, making sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall. So here are the nail tips after I have them all sized out and something I do quickly want to mention with these nail tips I did notice that they are a little bit sculpted they aren't like super flat you can see here um, like I've said in previous videos my nail beds they do have like a little bit of a slight curve to them but they still are on the flatter side so with these nail tips if you do have super flat nail beds you may be best to use a solid glue gel or like, like a non-stick builder gel, something like that, just to help fill in that space. I really don't think I'm going to have too many problems with that, especially because this press it builder gel is thicker. So I'm sure it will be able to fill the gap, but that is just something I noticed just because these nails, they aren't super flat. They are a little bit more on the structured side. So now that I have my nail tip sized out, I also do have my flash cure lamp over here. I will be using it, but because 
like it's super hard to get the angles like get it in the camera so just keep in mind when I go over here to do my flash cures I am using the flash cure lamp that I just showed and to apply these nail tips I will of course be using the press gel which is a thicker builder gel and I am very excited to test out this product it does seem to have a very thick consistency which I am really liking and I'm just going to go in with that product, paint it on where I estimate my natural nail to be. I'm also going to turn my nail light on, which is super nice. Oh my goodness, love that. And then I'm going to take the nail tip, I'm gonna start at the cuticle, and then slowly lower it until the gel has reached the free edge of my natural nail. Once the gel has reached the free edge of my natural nail, I will then hold it in place and do a flash cure under the nail lamp. Something I am noticing, you don't want to get super close to the light because with that flash sensor, it will turn it off. So you just want to make sure there's a good distance there. That way you're not accidentally bumping the touch sensor. But overall, I do really like this light. It does seem to be very powerful and I love all of the wonderful features that it does have. Also for the Press Glue Gel or the Press X Glue Gel, I also really like that. It is a very thick product. Even though these nails are a little bit sculptured or sculpted too, they have like a slight apex on them. They still are working really nicely on my nails and I can't wait to see the finished result. After I do have all of these nails applied and flash cured, I will then go into my large nail lamp and do a full 30 second cure to be sure that everything is fully cured. So I did just apply these two nails, but I remembered that I zoomed my camera out once and did almost like kind of like a point of view shot. And I feel like I, I'm not giving much credit to this nail lamp and I absolutely love it so I want you guys to see me actually use it instead of just seeing me off to the side here. So for the rest of the nails I am going to do it like in this angle with the camera zoomed out. That way you guys can actually see me using this nail lamp and seeing me cure it. The camera does pick this up flashing but trust me in real life it is not actually flash flashing like that. So I'm just going to go in and repeat those same steps but just with my camera zoomed out. That way you guys guys are able to actually see me use this flash cure lamp because I am loving it. So here are the nails after I have them all applied and I get and I did go into my large full powered nail lamp to do my full cure. I hope with me zooming out the camera did help you guys just get to take a look at the entire process from me actually going into applying the nails and then physically using the flash cure lamp. I am really loving this system like a lot. I love the nail tips. The press it gel was also very nice. It had a really nice consistency which made it super easy to work with. And then of course the flash cure lamp. I love it so much. What can I say? But now I'm going to go in with my filing and buffing.
So here are how the nails are looking after I have them buffed and filed. I absolutely love them. Now I am going to jump in and do my nail design. So I have decided that I'm going to keep it relatively simple today and do a super cute pink cat eye nail set. So for my base color, I am going to be using Pleasure, which is that light pink color. And I'm going to be going in with one coat of this to all of the nails and then I will cure for 30 seconds. Here are the nails after I have that pink gel polish applied and this color is absolutely gorgeous. I love this color so much and this is only one coat to a very pigmented gel. I'm now going to be going in with my cat eye gel polish and this one is two step in and this is a beautiful pink cat eye gel and this is also from Not Polish from their cat eye gel collection. And I'm going to be applying this color to all of the nails and then before curing, I will go in with my magnet. So here is the pink cat eye gel polish applied to all of the nails. I have not yet cured because I'm actually going to go in and create my design. So I'm going to use this cylinder magnet here and I'm going to go on the sides of each of the nail to bring out the cat eye effect. And then I'm also going to use this just to kind of create like, just play around with it really. I don't really have a specific design in mind. I just really wanna play around with it and just move the like cat eye effect around on the nails and then I will cure.
I really like the cat eye effect that I did using that cylinder magnet. I did go ahead and cure that. So I'm now going to go in with my top coat and I'm going to apply a layer of this to all of the nails and then I will cure for 30 seconds. Here are the nails after I have the top coat applied and cured. I did do my thumbnail off camera, just repeating that same exact process. This was a very quick and easy nail set and it turned out super cute. I'm now going to go in with my cuticle oil. I'm going to apply that to my cuticles, rub that in to nourish them. And of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And here is the finished look of how these nails turned out. I know this was a very simple and quick nail set, but I do still really love these nails. I feel like I haven't done cat eye nails in a minute and cat eye is just super cute. I love this pink cat eye and that pink colored base was the perfect base for these nails. I absolutely do love the not polished prex Press X system. I will be leaving the links to all of the products that I did use in today's video down below in the description box along with my discount code in case you guys want to pick anything up for yourselves. But here is just the ending shot. I will also go into some low lighting and use the flash just so we can see this cat eye with some flash because I know it's going to look beautiful. I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video, but as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.